we're set to go. We have, uh, in another tutorial, we've installed VirtualBox. We've uh, shown you where to download it. Clicking is just clicking. And then we have uh, gone over all the parameters. So we have gone into settings and now we're ready to launch our system with start. And we're off. We're booting from our DVD. And he wants us to know, do you want to install? This is a normal pop-up. You have clicked the mouse inside the virtual machine. Do remember to press the right control. So look at your keyboard. There's a control to the right side. That's the one that's going to change everything. So do not show the message again and capture, please. Now I can go with my arrow up and down and choose whatever I want. I can power off. I can boot from the existing OS, but there is no OS, no operating system yet on my hard disk. So I'm going to choose from number one. Try out and install Arch Labs, but not on your, your host system, but in this little window here, this virtual machine. So we're going to install Arch Labs on a virtual hard disk, which is actually, actually just a file. So we cannot do anything wrong to our system. We're going to wait to make it a bit bigger maybe, so we can take the corners like so. And then we can make the window a bit bigger, better for our tutorials. And it's going to load a system in which we're going to install Arch Labs. Seven screens, that's all it takes. Seven non-technical screens to install Arch Labs. And then you have your own Arch Linux system. Normally, <coughs> if you install Arch Labs, if you go to erodubot.be, there is this menu on top there about Arch Linux. And I've called, I've divided it in, in parts. You can install the base of Arch and then you install a desktop on it. But it's working in the terminal. It's a black screen, it's a, a cursor, and it's just waiting for you to type commands. So not this, uh, this is not the case here in Arch Labs. You have this, as you can see, this uh, desktop environment. You have here menus, uh, buttons, messages, a conkey, and we have to do stuff in this graphical environment, not a terminal. So clip it can save your history. And do you want to blah, blah, blah? You say yes, that's okay. So that's this little program that's going to be uh, going to um, save your control C's, so copies. And it's this little icon that we're gonna need, install Arch Linux. This is Chromium, Tunar, or File Manager, Genie, or Text Editor, and Termite, or Terminal. So it's gonna this be this one to install Arch Labs. This is the logo, bringing the, what was it, the shebang, I think they call it, to Arch. The idea of Arch Labs is bringing the look from Bunsen Labs, which you can Google, to Arch Linux. So Bunsen Labs is uh, an open box desktop environment based on Debian. They want to have the same look on Arch. We are on Arch, that's why Bunsen Labs and Arch Labs. Welcome to Arch Labs Installer. The program will ask some questions and it's only seven questions. So you choose your language. I'm fine with English, United States. Next. He knows where I'm living. I'm living in Brussels, that's okay for me. Next. Unfortunately, we have to live with an Azerty screen uh, keyboard, so I have to change to Belgian. And then we have to decide if we're going to erase the hard disk or manual partition. Just let him do it. It's a virtual hard disk, remember, so we don't care and everything can be erased because there's nothing on it. It's a virtual machine. So we erase disk. Next. Then you have to type in your name, to type in your personal name, the one you would like to use. 
we're going to install Arch Labs and again type in a password not too long certainly if you're at home why do that log in automatically without asking for the password okay so if you're not working in an enterprise business then you just log in and there you are on your desktop and ready to do your stuff use the same password for the administrator account and that's it we've made all our decisions this is just an overview of what's going to happen location keyboard partitions and you can analyze what's going to be happen to happen here SDA so it is going to give that amount to the partition that amount to the swap and that's it go ahead my friend and now we have to wait till the installation concludes so it's that easy it's not that difficult it's uh, really only seven graphical screens to go over and to have a fully functional arch system uh, and called then arch labs it's quite new you'll find uh, all the links to the websites uh, of arch labs on my article on ericdubois.pe and we'll just have to wait now for the system to conclude okay the installation has finished it says all done has been installed on your computer you may now restart into a new system okay so restart now we quit this thing and calamares that's the name of this little program of this installation utility is going to reboot now as you can see you are rebooting and he asks do you want to install the live medium again so it says here live medium at the bottom it changes the article the, the line at the bottom there but of course we don't want to boot into the live medium we want to boot an existing operating system so either you choose every time boot existing os and then you boot to the hard disk or you first do the following thing in settings you can go to uh, the storage arch labs plus three so do we have this dvd still inside we have to get rid of the dvd remove disk from virtual drive if you do that and we say okay and we reboot we reset we say run it again so switch off your computer and run it again then it's actually what we need to have let's skip it, the boot up of grab i had only one second left and then it would have booted itself automatically so we have this group a uh, grub um, set up here and we have a grub lines and what it will do after three seconds i think it is it will uh, start this line this line is going to sda1 and booting from Arch Labs. So first time this is Arch Labs. Let's make it a big bit a big a bit bigger. You will notice that the first time it launches it takes a bit longer than the second time. That's normal. there you have it clip it can save your history yes so this is the clip it program here that asks your permissions yes please and all these pop-ups are going to inform you that you're connected to the network and then this red thing is telling you you can update so that's it we are basically on open box on arch labs and we can continue our tutorials